Okay, real, real shorty here. This is why you don't buy cheap electrical components for your house. This was installed in this house when it was built. I believe it was built in 2004. It's 2020. I'm just lucky that the house did not catch fire on this one. I went with a quality outlet, paid $3 for it, not 59 or 79 cents. This is why you do not buy cheap on electrical. I don't even know where this is made. I can't even read it. But a little scary, wouldn't you think? Thank you. Okay, this is an update on the out. This is an update on the outlet that burned out on me. Uh, that real short blurb. I made a mistake. An electrician uh, let me know. First thing I want to note on this thing is I did not have any white insulated wire. So the red wire you see there, think of it as a white insulated wire, not red. Uh, now what happened originally, and I've got this wired the way it was, the circuit or the outlet that burned out was the very first one in the line of that circuit. And what happened is the people who wired the thing took the unit and rather than pigtail each individual outlet into the main circuit, they used the outlet as part of the circuit. As you can see, on the ground, on the red, which I said should be white, which is your common, and then on your black, they brought it in from the power source into the outlet, then ran it off of the other legs into the next outlet down, like this, okay? What that did is it forces all the power that's being drawn down the line to go through this little narrow section right in here on the outlet. That failed because of way too many amps going through it, and that's what burned out. I'm going to wire this correctly according to the electrician I spoke with and show you the way it should be wired. And if you wire it that way, you will not have your outlets burn out like it did on my previous video. Uh, one thing to note also while I'm here, don't ever, ever use these little holes right here to shove a wire into that's not a good connection. That's another spot where they can arc out. I don't know. You can see where I cut the wire off on that one. That's an open invitation to it arcing out. All right, give me a few minutes, and I will finish this up. All right, part two. Again, obviously, I'm running a setup for a uh, 120 circuit. Remember, I'm letting the red wire represent what would normally be your white insulator wire. I just did not have any white scrap wire to use. This is the proper way to wire circuits up. You have your hot leads and your neutral and your ground coming in from your main source. Then you wire nut them together like this so that each one, wire nut them together like that, so that each one of the individual outlets only handles the load on what is actually plugged into it. The way it was wired is the first outlet was handling the load for every outlet down the line from it. And that's an open invitation to a meltdown. So I'll put this back down here. Hopefully you can see it a little better. But that's the way to do it. And obviously, again, the wire runs between outlets would be a lot longer. But that's how you do it. And that's a lot safer way to go. As I said, the only thing that each outlet's handling is the load that's actually on that outlet. Uh, as I said, I got this from an electrician. I had already started wiring it that way when I found the errors. But I was wrong on my first video about it being the fault of the outlet itself. It wasn't the fault of the outlet. It was the fault of the person who wired the circuit. Thank you for your time.